Okay, we're going to take a uh, brief look at uh, some computer modeling software. This is uh, this software is called GMSYS, and it's no longer maintained. I believe GeoSoft uh, uh, purchased this and has uh, improved it, and uh, uh, it, it would probably still be available through, uh, or some version of it would be available through GeoSoft. But now let's take a look at the model that we have here. Uh, we've got a near surface layer with a density of about 2.5 grams per cubic centimeter. We have um, a limestone layer with a density of about 2.7 grams per um, cubic centimeter. And uh, we have this valley and we have this little, little tiny cave passage in the um, in the limestone. So we have some karst, karst features in there. And if we zoom in on that, uh, we get a better view of this uh, cave passageway. And it has a uh, width of about one meter and a height of about uh, eight meters. So we have a density contrast in here of about 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. We're, we'd assume that the uh, cave passage, let's say, is air filled. So um, one of the things to do would be to calculate, we could, we could estimate what the anomaly, what an, kind of an anomaly would be produced by this passageway, assuming that it was uh, roughly extended significant distances in and out of the section. We could model that with the horizontal cylinder. But we need to figure out what the equivalent radius of the circle uh, with the same cross-sectional area as this cave passageway would be. Of course, the area of the cave passageway is one meter times eight meters, or eight square meters. And the equivalent uh, radius of a circle having the same area would just be 1.6 meters. So the next thing to do would be to We've got rho equal 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter, z of approximately 14.5 meters in this case. And the idea would be to calculate the uh, maximum acceleration due to gravity that one would expect to see at the surface over this passageway. So again, we're just using this term here for g max. 2 times the gravitational constant times the cross-sectional area. We're approximating it as in a, in a circular shape with a radius r times the density of 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter. So we have r 1.6 meters, rho 2.7 grams per cubic centimeter, and a depth of 14.5 meters. So if you wanted to take a minute and calculate the uh, g max, you should find that Gmax is about uh, 0 0.013 milligauss. And that, that would be transforming this into milligauss. Should have, should have put the units in there. That would be milligauss. So a very, very, very tiny anomaly. You, you'd be surprised if you saw it. If you come back and look at the gravitational field across the area, the anomaly reaches about minus 3.6 milligauss. So you're saying, well, no way, you know, this karst feature here is really not responsible for the anomaly that we're seeing. So what what's producing the anomaly that we see? Well, notice the association between the shape of the anomaly and the topographic feature here. Remember the Bouguer plate correction is needed to remove all of this. The terrain correction is needed to compensate for uh, the fact that we re remove too much material. So we need to apply a terrain correction, and uh, one of the things you would want to ask is, has there been a terrain correction applied to this this data? And uh, so um, got a minus 3.6 milligal anomaly. That's really not not we we couldn't really convince anybody that we were seeing the uh, cave in this case. We're, something else is going on. So let's take a look at this a little bit more carefully, carefully uh, using uh, 
the computer modeling software. And so here's our um, here's our model, um, and um, we've got some we've got a, a a layer here of material with a density of 2.5 grams per cubic centimeter. Now I'm kind of changing this. You know, I'm going to change this density to uh, zero, and then click OK. And um, well, gee, our anomaly just completely disappeared, right? But so, so OK. Well, we, in other words, we applied the plate correction and the topographic, the terrain correction. So we've gotten rid of everything above the limestone layer here. We have a, looks like we have absolutely no anomaly at all. And let's uh, auto scale this. And so we see that we have an anomaly which is about minus uh, 0.02, a little bit more negative than the minus 0 0.013 that we computed. But this is the kind of anomaly that we might expect to see associated with this channel. Of course, you know, the, the uh, cave passageway is a little bit closer to the surface in some places. So maybe centering that equivalent circle down here, maybe we should move it up a little bit. We'd get a little bit high, uh, a little bit more negative of, of an anomaly. <clears throat> but the idea is kind of brings us back, refreshes our memory perhaps of the necessity for uh, good corrections in your data. We have the uh, plate correction, the terrain correction. If they aren't applied, you're really never going to see the things you might think or might like to see. And in order to see an anomaly, an anomaly like this, on the order of a couple hundredths of a milligal, you need to have a real high precision gravimeter. You need to have your elevations uh, uh, known to great accuracy for the vertical cylinder at a depth of um, uh, about 15 meters, we we would expect the anomaly to fall off uh, from to one half of its maximum value at a, at a distance of about 15 meters, and we can see that that's the that's the case here. So we would also have to increase our sampling here in order to see this anomaly. So our survey, if we were really interested in this, would be concentrated perhaps in this area of the uh, of the valley. So that's a good lesson to uh, keep in mind. And um, oh, with that, I think we'll um, you know just just uh, go ahead and wrap up. And the next time we'll talk about some. Um, uh, we'll just kind of have some concluding remarks. We probably won't do too much more with modeling. Uh, and we'll just talk, we'll show some models though and finish up our discussions of gravity next time. Uh, thanks for joining us.